Hello friends, welcome to my channel again. I am Vijay Lohar here and in this session we are going to discuss how to apply a dynamic routing protocol in our router and we will verify how they use to forward an IP packet one network to another network. In our previous video we have compared every routing protocol with each other according to their technology used to find the best possible route and and uh, which protocol routing protocol will applicable for our, our situation or our condition we can verify that and in this session we are going to ap create a lab and we'll apply a particular routing protocol and we'll see how to use that protocol so let's uh, create a lab for the dynamic routing as we have already discussed that static routing is a static method of updating routing table as the dynamic routing is a dynamic method of updating routing table where the routing protocols update every neighbor router automatically and whenever any changes happens in the network we don't need to manually update router for the another route but uh, in dynamic routing every router automatically automatically or dynamically update, updates route it if a route goes fail so let's proceed with the uh, lab session here and I'm going to create a lab with the four router and first of all I need some switches like I'm using this switch here for LAN computers and I'm not going to add much uh, much computer I'll just show you with the single computer you can create your own lab according according to you your requirement and you can create it much more uh, with much much more router here by adding much more router here I am showing you with this four router so first of all I will create LAN network first we use using this computer and switch so at this side I am using a single computer with switch and the switch will connect with router so I have connected our LAN network with router so in other side or in other network I'll also use a single computer here and I'm going to connect other switch with router and now what we have to do here is we'll have to con uh, connect each router like uh, they will provide multiple route here so what I have to do here is let's verify if the router is having serial port or WAN port as you can see here there is no WAN port is available here right now so I'm going to add some WIC card here but uh, how much card we need as you can see here this router can connect directly with this router and this router so at least this router should have uh, two WIC interface and even this router is also used to connect this router and this router so it, this router should have at least two even this router will require at least to WAN interface as well as this router will require to WAN interface so I am going to add WAN interface for each router first as you can see here I am using WIC 1T port so I am adding two interface here and as this router is capable to connect this and this now so I am going to do the same thing for every router now I have just switched up router and again once I have added the interface I'll have to switch on our router next one is this one so first of all switch up your router select the WAN interface and then edit and switch it back again and now the last one that is here so I'm going to select this WIC 1T and you will use to WAN interface here and switch it on and now we can connect every router with each other so what topology will create here let's see I will use DC cable here so with serial 0 by 0 I will connect router to serial 0 by 0 and now DC port serial 0 by 1 it will use 0 by 0 of this router and now serial 0 by 1 is empty here so I am going to use that to connect with other router and now next thing is serial 0 by 0 is empty for this router so I am going to use that to connect with other router 
So, here is our topology to verify if routing protocol is automatically updating root or routing uh, table. So, what we have to do here is first of all, I will uh, I'll show you what kind of network it uh, this network will use like uh, this is uh, the LAN 1 which will use 192.168.0.0 slash 24 network and this side it will be 172.16.0.0.0 0.0 slash 16. I am not uh, using CIDR or VLSM here uh, by default. Uh, I am using the default IP address, uh, default IP with the default subnet mask. So, if you want to use your subnet or CIDR value, you can use that, but make sure that uh, you use the protocol which supports classless and v, uh, VLSM. But uh, in this session, I am going to apply RIP uh, version 2, which is fully supports classless routing protocol. Uh, so, you can use with your CIDR and VLSM or your sub network. You can create sub network here. And I am going to assign IP address for these computers. So, first of all, assign IP to this computer. I will use 192.168.0.2 because one IP address I will assign to router 0 0.1 which will be the default gateway for the system. So, I have configured this system and now at this side I will have to configure IP address of 172.16.0.2 one will be the default gateway or 172.16.0.1 will be the default gateway for this computer. So, what we have to do here is now we will have to configure this uh, network with uh, routing information protocol version 2. So, first of all I will configure this router. So, to connect every router there must have some network another network like 10.0.0.0 slash 20 slash 8 I am using default subnet mask and it will use 2.0.0.0 slash 8 and this net this both router will use one uh, 30.0.0.0 slash 8 and this network will use 40.0.0.0 slash 8. So, we have our WAN interface IP address here, uh, we have LAN IP address here. Now, this is 192 network and this is 172 network, there are different network. Uh, and this computer need to communicate with this computer. So, directly uh, this computer cannot forward the pack uh, forward any information here because there are two different networks. So, we have used here router device. Router device is capable for forwarding IP packet packet one network to another network and if we use dynamic routing protocol router will automatically decide which route to use to send a particular packet from one network to another network. So, let us start with the session. Uh, we have already discussed about creating lab. So, I am not going to discuss much here. So, what we have to do here is as you can see here router is having serial 0. If you move your cursor in particular interface on a particular interface it will flash you the exact name of your interface. So, this one is serial 0 by 0 and this one is serial 0 by 1 and this one is fast ethernet 0 slash 0. So, I am going to configure this router. So, first of all enable configure terminal host name. I will assign host name first router 1 and interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0. I am configuring first router that is this one and I am going to configure this interface that is fast ethernet and I will assign IP address with the network address 192.168.0.1 and mask will be 255.255.255.0 and I will use no shutdown and exit from this interface and what we have to do next is we will have to assign IP address for this serial 0 slash 0 uh, that is that uh, Net, uh, that interface will use IP address from this network. So, I interface serial 0 slash 0. This interface will use IP address IP sorry IP address will be 10.0.0.1 slash 
one space two five five dot two five five dot sorry two five five dot zero dot zero dot zero and no shutdown and clock rate will be sixty four for synchronization exit exit so we have configured this interface now I'll configure uh, router configure terminal interface serial which serial is this this one is 0 slash 1 so I am going to configure IP address for 0 slash 1 1 IP address will be will be from this network that is 20.0.t.0.0.1255.0.0.0 and no shutdown and even I will assign clock rate for this interface and exit exit once you have configured IP address for all interface let's verify if that is properly configured so IP in brief so IP interface brief is the command line to verify the you have configured your interface properly or not so fast ethernet is okay serial 0 by 0 is okay but right now the status is down here because we haven't configured another router or next router so both interface is currently properly configured but not in active situation so what we have to do here is if all thing is okay till now we you can save your configuration running configuration to startup configuration that is nvram copy running sorry copy running config to startup and you have saved your configuration and now I am going to configure this router. So close the first router and open second router. Enable configure configure terminal. Host name will be R2 or router2. And we have to configure interface serial 0 slash 0. Enter. I am configuring the first interface that is 0 slash 0 as you can see here. So, I am configuring IP address of 10 network. IP address will be 10.0.0.2 because 1 is already with router 1 and submit mask is 25.0.0 and no shutdown and no need to assign clock rate here because we have already used clock rate at this side. And what next I have to do here is I'll have to configure this interface that is serial 0 slash 1 uh, for this one sorry for this one that is serial 0 slash 1. So let's configure interface 0 by 1 uh, with the IP address what range we have given for this interface or this network that is 30 as you can see here that is 30.0.0.1255.255 sorry 0.0.0 .0. no shutdown no shutdown clock rate 64000 exit so we have configured this router also it, this router is having only two interface two serial interface and we have configured IP address for the both so let's verify if we have configured uh, if we have interface brief we have configured IP properly as you can see here serial 0 slash 0 is configured with 10.0.0.2 IP address and the status of interface is up right now because both end is configured properly uh, but uh, this interface is still down because this router is still not active so uh, we are going to configure third router now and close this one and go to command prompt and enable configure terminal host name will be r3 uh, and interface serial 0 slash 0 which is serial 0 slash 0 is connected with this network so we will assign ip address from here so ip address will be ip address will be 
255.0.0.0. No shutdown. No need to assign clock rate because we have already used that in router 1. As you can see here, your interface is active now, but this side is still down. So I am going to configure this interface of router 3. This interface is serial 0 slash 1. So I will use command interface serial 0 by 1 and IP address will be from 40 network that is 40.0.0.2 sorry 1 5.0.0.0 no shutdown we can use here clock rate command to communicate with next router exit exit now this router is also having only two interface let's verify if both interface is configured properly as you can see here 20 is ok for serial 0 and 40 is also ok for this network so we'll have to configure this router now we have used four router enable configure terminal host name will be r4 and interface serial 0 by 0 which is connected with router 3 let's verify it as you can see here 0 slash 0 is connected with 30 network and i'll use ip address 30.0.0.2 and mask will be 255.0.0.0 no shutdown no need to assign clock rate as we have already used clock rate in next router so exit from serial 0 slash 0 and access here serial 0 slash 1 so what i have to do here is i'll have to assign ip address from this range that is ip address 40.0.0.2 255.0.0.0 no shutdown and even in this interface no need to assign so ip in brief let's verify it as you can see here that is 30 dot for serial 0 it's okay and serial 0 slash s slash 1 is using 14 network so it's active now but uh, still your ethernet port is down because we haven't assigned ip address on this interface so what we have to do here is we'll have to configure terminal interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 i'm going to assign ip address of lan computers that is 172.16.0.1255.255.0.0 and no shutdown exit exit now every interface should appear so ip in brief that in is the interface and as you can see here every interface is working it's and the status of all interface is up now this orange led denotes that the uh, switch is still in initialization and what next i have to do here is i'll have to apply a dynamic routing protocol so as you can see here between source and destination there are two routes here router can either forward packet from this network or this network but uh, at a moment only one uh, inter, uh, route, uh, route will use but if any route goes fail router protocols would automatically change the route to another one so uh, mm, we'll have to apply dynamic route here so whenever you are going to apply dynamic route first of all verify whether your all interface is working and status is up so ip interface brief so for router one every interface is properly configured and up and the next very important command that is show ip root it will show you which network is directly connected with your router as you, as you can see here 10 network is here 20 network is here and 192 network is here which is the most trusted route for the router because these all networks are directly connected with the router and the second most trusted route will be static 
and now we are going to apply dynamic routing here so we will go to configure terminal and i let's say ip router rip i'm going to apply rip protocol here and we will use version 2 so the command router rip enter and version 2 will enable your router for rip version 2 routing protocol so what we have to do here we will have to define rip protocol that we have connected with 10.0.0.0 network this one network 20.0.0.0 network that is and the another network is 192.168.0.0 so in earlier when we have applied our, our static routing we have we had to de, uh, define static routing that remote network which remote network is connected with which interface it means we'll we had to add remote network in our routing table but when we are applying st dynamic routing here we are not going to add remote network in our routing table instead i will uh, we will ex uh, we will define routing protocol that we are connected with this network this network and you have to uh, uh, protocol have to have to share this information with other router so every router will update each other so exit from this router and go to another one you can save configuration here by copy running space startup config command but i am not saving right now so i am going to configure second router with so ip in brief that is the important command before applying any routing protocol and you can see here all interface which is serial 0 and serial 1 is up here so the second command is so ip root and there are two network connected with second router that is 10.0.0.0 and 30.0.0 you can see here so enable your router for routing proto uh, routing protocol rip version 2 configure terminal router rip version 2 you can just use v2 and network we are connected with which have to share with other router is 10.0.0.0 and 30.0.0.0 that's it exit now and third router so ip in interface brief all interface is okay so ip root these two networks are connected with directly interface so to configure terminal router rip version 2 and the network will be 20.0.0.0 and second one is 40.0.0.0 exit and exit and in third router so ip in brief all interface is okay so ip root three network is connected directly connected so we'll have to define routing protocol rip version 2 that we are connected with this network router rip version 2 and the network which is directly connected with us is 0 30.0 dot zero by 0 0 dot 0 dot 0 40 dot 0 dot 0 dot 0 and 172 172.16.0.0 dot zero dot zero. so we don't have to bother about that we have just enabled our uh, router for rip version 2 protocol and assigned this network we have we are directly connected and this information have to share with neighbor router so let's verify if we have updated our router if the rip protocol is updating routing table in early earlier we have used command so ip root here and it shows <coughs> three connected network but now after applying routing information protocol version 2 if i use command so ip root <coughs> it will show you 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स नेटवर्क है वेयर वन टेन डॉट जीरो इज डायरेक्टली कनेक्टेड टू ट्वेंटी डॉट जीरो डॉट जीरो इज डायरेक्टली कनेक्टेड एज वन नाइन्टी टू इज डायरेक्टली कनेक्टेड अ पार्ट ऑफ दैट थर्टी डॉट फोर्टी डॉट वन सेवेंटी डॉट इज द नेटवर्क विच इज अपडेटेड इन राउटिंग टेबल एंड दैट इज फ्रॉम रिप आर डिनोट्स रिप प्रोटोकॉल सो नाउ इफ आई वेरीफाई विद द कम्युनि राउटर इज फॉरवर्डिंग आई पी पैकेट पिंग वन सेवेंटी टू डॉट सिक्सटीन डॉट जीरो डॉट टू दैट इज द आई पी एड्रेस अदर साइड कंप्यूटर एंड एट द वेरी फर्स्ट टाइम इट विल मिस सम पैकेट बट एट द सेम टाइम इट विल रिप्लाई एस एज यू कैन सी हेयर आई एम गेटिंग रिप्लाई फ्रॉम दिस दिस कंप्यूटर सो वट हैपन्स इफ दिस नेटवर्क गोज फेल so i have removed one there uh, there were two different route for this destination but if i if i have broken uh, a network here let's verify if we are getting reply yes we are still getting reply so the packet is forwarding through this route but now if i connect this network here and i will remove this network and now if i verify with a we are getting reply as you can see here i am still getting reply because now the packet is automatically forward forwarded through this route so this is the benefit of your uh, dynamic routing any dynamic routing can do that uh, if our network route goes fail that will automatically redirect or update our uh, its routing table and define that which possible route is there and forward your packet one network to another network or source to destination network so you can create complex uh, routing uh, lab here and you can use uh, normal routing commands like uh, router rip version 2 and you can apply with your lab and you can verify with a large network also if this was an example for applying routing protocols so i hope you like this video and for further session still we are going to connect, uh, we are going to configure every protocol and for the topic of ccna if you like this video please do subscribe and keep watching and also do share with your friends uh, till next video bye bye